Okay, how's it going guys? It's El Nino here, and I just want to showcase my rune build for preseason of 2017, or rather 2018 coming in. Um, of course, there might be changes here and there. This is still preseason, but here's my theory crafting for the runes I would go on Katarina. I think this is a very powerful uh, rune that focuses on both damage and cooldown reduction, which is a, a big thing on Cat when it comes to her shampoo refund. So let's just get into it and explain to you guys why I build this way. Of course, we do choose domination, and our, as our secondary, we choose sorcery. So from here, from here, our first option is definitely going to be the Thunderlord. Electrocute, they called it now. Uh, hitting a chapter 3 unique attacks or abilities within 2 seconds deals a bonus adaptive damage. Now keep in mind, adaptive damage basically means scaling damage. What's scaling damage? Every time you level up, you deal more and more and more damage. So it scales. Just like the old Thunderlord, it scales. If I'm correct, you can correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure Thunderlord scaled. Scales pretty well uh, from 60 to 220 as you level up max level level 18 you're gonna have 220 damage it's based on your bonus AD and AP which is a good thing for Katarina because you know with her nature with Gunblade and attack damage early game so it's still good for her she, she does have some AD in there in her kit with her shampoo with her passive spin so I would probably go electrocute the reason I pick this over these two is because I think these two are not really that fitting for her. This gives, you know, enhance your boots or whatever, it gives more movement speed. Movement speed is great, mobility is awesome, helps with roaming, but this, if you want to really kill enemies, if you really want to pressure lane, I think this is better. This one is just champions, large monsters. You know, they drop soul essence on death, which basically, if you collect the souls, it causes your next attack on a champion or a structure to deal bonus adaptive damage. So once again, adaptive damage, just keep in mind, they just rewarded this. Adaptive damage is basically scaling damage. As you level up, you deal more and more based on that specific rune that you selected. So it has its own. As you can see, bonus damage from 60 to 100 on this thing here. But yeah, we definitely go electrocute. Our next one is going to be for sure eyeball collection. So you gain 2 AP, 1.4 attack damage, adaptive permanently on champion takedown, and half of that on ward takedowns. Which is pretty good. Every time you kill a champion, you get more AP and AD. And due to Canterbury's nature with killing, and um, because that's what she's good at, she her main her one only thing she does for the team is damage. So you have to perform and deal that damage. She doesn't provide CC, she doesn't provide peel. Your existence is for damage. So focus on that and that's that's what they need you for. So I would definitely go for this. So permanently on champion takedown, I think that's great. And I would definitely go for that. The other two, zombie ward, you kill a ward and then it spawns your own one. I think this one is like if you're gonna buy a sweeper but again I feel like this is not for cat it doesn't feel right maybe this is good for brand Zyra support uh, if you're playing aggressive supports uh, you can go you know domination and go pick, pick something else this is good maybe for brand Zyra you know people who are gonna sweep a lot but you're cat you're most likely gonna have a trinket or you're gonna have the scrying orb so you can scout out uh, if you wanna go sweeper up to you and go for this with it but I still think like I said damage is the main thing that you know everyone counts on you for damage so focus everything on that and of course this one ghost Pora. if you enter a, a bush it summons a Pora after a brief channel you know and the channel gets interrupted by damage and casting other spells so you enter a bush you know you spawn you summon a Poro and he scouts that area so if an enemy enters a bush with your Poro in it, they scare it away, putting this effect on a 30 second cooldown. So there you have it. I still don't think this adds to your damage in any way. I feel like this is a very utility based rune. I would not select it personally. Damage is the way to go. Go for that. It's also adaptive permanently on champion takedown. 
So for every time you kill a champion, it goes up, 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 and adapts. It scales. So that's always good. So right here we have Cheap Shot, Taste of Blood, Sudden Impact, and I would absolutely 100% go for Sudden Impact because using a Dash, Leap, Blink, what does Katarina do? Shampo, boom, blink. You know, a, 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 it will increase your damage by 5% against champions for the next 3 seconds. That's the greatest, probably the greatest rune right here to pick. Because I think 5% additional damage for 3 seconds, that's enough for EWQR. And your R will do a lot of damage for those 3 seconds. So I think that's really good in team fights. I think that's a phenomenal choice for Katarina. I would definitely pick this over these two. Absolutely. And of course with the resets, you're going to shump all, all the time. So you're going to keep, keep, you know blinking all over the place so you can just continuously have additional damage for three seconds because you get resets you shampoo on the dagger and then you you go on them it's like you keep it going so i really do like that um i'm pretty sure if you shampoo on a dagger or a minion or whatever that's something that's not a champion it will still give you that five percent additional damage um and then you can use that additional damage to go on the champion. I'm not sure of this yet because it's not preseason yet, but I kind of hope it will be like that. Um, I'm pretty sure if you shampoo on a dagger and the person's right on top of the dagger and you apply the shampoo damage and the spin damage, then this will apply. So just keep that in mind. The next two here I really don't like. Uh, cheap Shot, you know, damages champion with impaired movement. That's really good with Leandri's Torment because Leandri does more damage on movement impaired units and I do buy Leandri a lot of the time. So this can be seen as pretty decent choice as well. But again, I think this is far better. You know, when you both of these are good, but when you compare them, this just sounds so much better on Katarina. So I would rather go for that. You know, you, they're not always going to be movement impaired, but you can guarantee that 5% additional damage will go through because of Katarina's nature with blinking and all that shenanigans. So probably go Sudden Impact. This one, Taste of Blood, heal when you damage an enemy champion. So that seems okay as well because Gunblade, of course, heals when you attack. Again, Katarina's not a sustained champion. She will not have to rely on this. She can use it, but it's not the best choice. I still think when you compare this to the other two, this stands out the most, so I would probably go for this. But yeah, the healing, it's okay. Again, not the best choice. Now here's the last one. Each of these have Bounty Hunter. Now if you guys remember Bounty Hunter from right now, uh, Season 7, Bounty Hunter gives additional percentage damage for every unique takedown what that means is every time you kill one champion you gain permanent damage for a percentage the max is five percent so if you kill uh, Zyra um, Master Yi uh, Corky uh, Shin Zhao and Zerath let's say you kill all five you have five percent additional damage into everything you do but if you kill like Shin Zhao twice it's not going to be 2%, it's still going to be 1% because you just killed one guy. So if you kill all five, boom. That's what Katarina is good at. She loves to kill. So this is a perfect rune uh, slot tier for her because all these are good. But which one is the best one? For sure, I would go Ingenious Hunter. Now this gives you 1% active item CDR. Good for Zonya, good for Gunblade. So you want to have Gunblade every team fight. That's a good choice, right? So, plus an additional 6% per Bounty Hunter stack. So once you have this rune already, you already have 1% active item CDR in there. But if you kill 5 of the unique uh, enemy champions, like I explained just now with how Bounty Hunter works, you gain 6% active item CDR on everything, not just Zonya. Zonya, Gunblade, these are great items on Katarina, and I think this is the way to go. If you want to really deal a lot of damage in teamfights, you want to have Gunblade all the time. Also, Zonya way back has been nerfed. The active item CDR of Zonya has been increased uh, way back. We're talking way back. So this really helps make sure that you have Zonya every teamfight. So that's definitely the way to go. And 
it has the bounty hunter in it so that's perfect keep in mind this also includes trinkets so the trinket cdr because it's an active uh slot you know it will it will also be reduced in cdr so i would definitely go for that uh the other two this heals for a percentage of damage dealt by your abilities so this again might seem good but like I said before, Katarina is not a sustained champion. She's a damage dealing monstrous champion. And I really think having CDR on Gunblade is really good. So you can consistently deal a lot of damage in fights. You're not a sustained champion. Gunblade is good. Healing is good. Sustaining yourself is good. But it's not really that good in the mid game, late game where you start to scale. The, the team relies on you for the damage. But again... This is okay. Again, it stacks. Uh, sorry, it uh, goes up every time for a unique kill. Same concept. It will give you more healing every time you get a unique kill. And, of course, the cap percentage. And keep in mind, healing is reduced to one-third on AoE abilities. So, keep that in mind. Katarina is all AoE. Katarina's spin damage is AoE. Katarina like she's a monstrous aoe champion and here they say that her healing has been reduced so you're basically countering your gun blade in a sense and i don't think that's a good way to go you don't want to counter your gun blade because gun blade gives you more lifesteal if you do aoe damage so i would probably not recommend ravenous hunter on katarina now this last one you gain eight out of combat move speed plus eight per bounty stack does not matter you don't care about this it's okay, but you don't care about this as much. This is better scaling wise and team fight wise. This is the better option. Mobility is good, but this is better. That's just how it is. Next up, we definitely go sorcery along with domination. Now here you can choose, of course, which one you want to go. So you can choose two, right? And there's these different attributes that you can choose from. And I really think sorcery is the best one. I checked out the others. I think they're good, but not that good. Sorcery is the best one. Now, of course, the first slot, you can only pick two here, uh, but the main one, you can put four. So the second uh, attribute here, we're definitely going to go for the ultimate hat. So your ultimate cooldown is reduced by five seconds. Keep in mind, only your ultimate is affected by this selected room. This number is increased by 2.0% each time your ultimate goes on cooldown and it stacks up to five times. So every time you use your ultimate, your number is increased the CDR of it is increased by 2.0% and it stacks up to five times so you use a five times and then you're a cap CDR on your ulti specifically so I think that's good on cat because having ulti all the time is good um, it might not seem as good late game because cats late game CDR is monstrous and she'll she'll always have ulti in team fights but this really helps you with your early ultimate cooldown reduction at level 9, at level, you know, at, at behind, before level 6 and at level 11, things like that. That's because they nerfed Katarina's ultimate cooldown uh, way back. So this helps boost her cooldown reduction. Of course, if you're not a fan of that, you can go for something else. Like, for example, this. At 30% health, you gain a magic damage shield. Keep in mind, this is situational. Uh, I think... This is not a good option for Katarina because it has with stuff to do with mana. That does not matter. This is very good against hard matchups. If you're against a Syndra, if you're against a Victor, if you're against a Burst Mage, this is fantastic and rushing Hex Drinker with it is good. So let's read it. At 30% health, you gain a magic shield. You know, a magic damage shield that only affects magic damage, blocking a certain amount of damage based on your level so 10% of AP or 50% AD so sounds pretty good uh, that's really good with hex drinker that's phenomenal against the blank I think I would probably go for this every time I'm against the blank Syndra it just adds a much stronger laning phase plus you already have a lot of damage from here so you don't have to worry too much about lacking of damage I would definitely go for this giving you that magic shield against these burst mages will help you be able to 1v1 them effectively so i would definitely go for this and rush a hex drinker the way to go for sure if you're not against the burst mage and you feel you know like annie leblanc all these champions this is good syndra if you're not against a burst mage someone who pokes and that's really it 
Um, this is okay. Your ultimate cooldown is reduced by 5%. I think that's good on Cat, so I'll probably go for that. And as the next choice here, you can of course select in whatever tier slot here. You can select whatever you want. But I like this one, so I choose this as my first room slot. The next one, my next choice is Transcendence, which will give you 10% cooldown reduction when you hit level 10. Now, of course, you might think, oh, we'll just go for Scorch. This makes it so that you deal fire damage uh, on your next ability that hits. Yes, that's good for poking. If you're Katarina, you want to poke with Q, set fire damage on them, right? This also works good with uh, Electrocute. Um, burst damage wise that's good however i i also need to focus on my scaling part and i think shampoo refund cdr and gaining 10 percent cdr just like that for free just by leveling up you gain 10 percent cooldown reduction i think that's phenomenal on katarina and you have less cooldown as you less uh, shampoo refund which is very important on katarina if you guys don't know what i'm talking about with shampoo refund at level six uh, at level 1, 6, 11, and 16, these are Katarina's power spikes, and level 11 being her second power spike, which makes her Shampoo refund uh, less cooldown, which I think is a phenomenal choice for Katarina, because CDR, she loves it, and it helps with her Shampoo refund, plus you get Zhonya, so that's 20% cooldown reduction, making it so that no matter what, you always have... You know, after you use Dagger, you always have Shumpo up. And I think that's phenomenal in as you scale towards late game. And I think this is a good choice. This has the freedom of selection, and I'm very happy with this uh, rune, rune, new rune system. I kind of like these ideas. You can also go for scaling. Every 10 minutes, you gain AP or AD, and it scales. So 10 minutes, you gain this amount. 20, 30, 40, you gain this amount. This is good when you hit 30 minutes because that's Katarina's power spike. You gain some AD and AP. Again, you buy AD items anyway. You buy AP items. You you get these from the item shop. If you want an extra, go for it. Up to you. I still think cooldown reduction is my favorite choice. Absolute focus is also a good option. If you're above 70% health, you gain 40 AP, 28 AD, and it's based on level. Again, this gives you damage if you're... It gives you damage. It's pretty good. It's not bad. I don't think it's the best. I think this is good with this, making it so that you this slot here, this whole sorcery slot is focusing on my utility aspect of Katarina, and in Domination I focus on pure burst damage, and this will really show in in terms of its damage. This will really just blow people up. So focus on, I focus on utility here and damage here. That's pretty much it for my room page uh, theory crafting for now. Of course, when this does get released, I want to test these things out and see for myself how effective they are. Uh, feel free to use my own room page right here if you want to uh, when preseason hits. So up to you, but this is what I think for Katarina's room page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll hopefully see y'all on the rift. And peace out.